This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's been a minute since I've uploaded a YouTube video, but we are back and we are in Malibu today, per usual. Uh, today is a fun video though. I get the chance to try out a new camera and I don't get to do that very often, so that should be pretty fun. Um, we're actually gonna be shooting on the Leica M10 today, which is a camera that I've been wanting to try for a while. I feel like Leicas to me have always been like such a love-hate relationship, to be honest. I've had a Leica M6, I've had a Leica Q2, as you probably know if you've watched this YouTube channel at all over the years. And I really love the cameras. I love how the way they feel. I love the way that they work. They're beautiful, obviously. Uh, and there's not a lot to complain about in that department. But for me, I just haven't never, I've never found this connection to them that I think a lot of other photographers have when they shoot on Leicas. Like a lot of people are just really diehard Leica fanatics and I'm just not really one of those people. So I think I've learned a lot in that way of, it's not really something that I want to keep in my kit regularly. But with all that being said, I've never tried a Leica M10, so I thought it'd be really fun to make a video about my experience with it and just shooting photos here in Malibu for sunset. Quick disclaimer, I did shoot this camera actually a couple weeks ago. I went on a trip to Vermont, which was extremely fun for my buddy's wedding. And we shot uh, some beautiful fall foliage out there in Vermont, which is really fun. And so I got some experience with the camera then, and I will say based on that so far, it's been really fun to shoot with. Uh, but I wanted to kind of shoot it on my home turf, you know, here in Malibu, I come here almost weekly it seems. And I wanted a chance to kind of shoot the camera in a place that I feel comfortable and familiar with. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have two different lenses that I'm gonna be rocking. Uh, the 28 millimeter Elmerit and the 50 millimeter Summicron. I have to say so far, the 50 millimeter is definitely my favorite. Uh, I love the compression of it. And I think 50 millimeter on Leica just feels right. Feels like it's the lens that should be on the camera. But yeah, I'm excited to mess around for sunset, see what we can get, and it's a beautiful sunny day in California, so let's get to it. say about like is the image quality is absolutely stunning obviously a combination of the lens and the uh, just optics in general but like a lenses are pretty hard to beat in terms of quality and sharpness it just looks wonderful that's for sure
So obviously I've only used the M10 a couple of times now. Uh, as I mentioned before, I was in Vermont and New Hampshire and now I'm here in Malibu. And based on these experiences and shooting with this camera, I think I would have to say that this is probably my favorite Leica that I've ever used. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm just not usually like a Leica person. I don't really find them as fun or as usable as other cameras for me. I'm obviously a huge uh, advocate for the Fuji GFX system, uh, but that's just a different camera compared to this. You know, I think the M10 is just such a wonderful, compact, small camera. And I think the reason I like this over something like the Q2 is personally you get a wider selection of lenses. Um, you don't have to crop uh, like you do in the Q2 to get a different focal length and you actually get um, you know, a wide selection of just beautiful glass like it makes some of the best glass in the world. And to me, all of that wrapped up in a really beautiful small package, it just is great. I've had a lot of fun using it. And at the end of the day, I think that's all that you really want from a camera. Now with all that being said, Really the only gripe that I might have when it comes to this system, I think, is that it doesn't really allow for kind of quick shooting, uh, which sometimes I just want to take a quick little snapshot uh, and just get on with my day. Um, but I think this camera is much slower. It's much slower of a workflow, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but I think from for me personally, um, I like something more uh, like the Q2 that does have autofocus. So I think there's, you know, there's pros and cons, right, to everything, um, especially with the Leica system. Uh, but I think, as I said, I think this is definitely my favorite Leica that I've personally ever used. So I have a lot of fun using it. So I think if I were to get one of these, uh, this is actually just a buddy of mine, Zach, if you're watching, shout out to you. Uh, so this is his camera and his system. I think if I were to personally buy one, I'd probably get the M10R, which is just the higher megapixel version of this camera. Um, but again, I love the size, I love the feel. Obviously it has a great weight to it being a Leica camera. And it has a lot of the same features as an M6 does. You know, you got uh, this to open the battery door, you just open this guy up. Um, and it's just really like uniform and it's just a pretty camera. So with all that being said, it's been really fun using this guy. Um, I don't have a ton of complaints and it's just a nice companion to bring around, especially for like a sunset drive like this. I do this all the time. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to shoot on a camera like this, doing something that I already would do. Now with all that being said, the sun is setting. We're gonna head to one of my favorite spots, Leo Carrillo and hope we shoot a few more photos before the sun hits down. Before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. If you are looking to create a custom website from scratch without all the coding and hassles that come with it, Squarespace is by far the best choice out there, in my opinion, to make a beautiful website. They have easy to use templates, which make creating a beautiful theme that much easier. 24 seven customer support for all of your questions and tons of customizable design and layout choices to really make your website stand out. For a photographer like myself, running a small business with multiple different kinds of needs, Squarespace really just makes sense. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel Elkins, which is in the description to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you next week.